in this test, we're going to be testing the sword units of the Langobards, the Godens men, and Godens chosen versus the Scooter Toy Axis and the Butchelori Guard Axis. The two things stand out with the Godens chosen and the Godens men. They have 50 melee damage and I believe it is 14 AP on their uh, swords, yep. So, very high amount of armor piercing compared to the regular swords with 40 damage. However, not as much as the 26 AP that the Axemen can bring to the battlefield. Now that they have a 10 bonus versus infantry. However, the Godens Chosen can go Berserk, which essentially their morale is so high they're pr practically never going to break anyway. But it could play a factor because they're then going to be fresh when they are fighting. So on the charge, the Butchelori Guard have Precursors, which hurts the Godens a lot. The Godens don't have the best armor, they don't have the best shield, so Precursors will damage them significantly. The Godens men are doing a better job against the Scooter Toy Axis. Which is nice for them, they are cheaper and there they go Berserk, they are now fresh. And they won't break as long as they are in combat and killing stuff. And same thing over here, Godens Chosen, they have 50% less men remaining than the Butchelori Guard, but the Butchelori Guard are now dropping to active, while Godens Chosen are fresh. And the fear is also an important factor here in making these Scooter Toy waver. Same thing over here, the killing power of the Butchelori Guard is better than that of Godens Chosen. But being berserk and having such high morale, they're just not going to break. And, and even the lowly Godens men managed to destroy the Scooter Toy Axis here. And here we have Godens chosen, 25 men remaining. But, very important, they're not breaking with 25 men remaining. So they might, uh, they might be able to do this. The Godens chosen here, 40 men remaining, uh, defeating the Butchelori Guard. The Butchelori Guard are more expensive. So that's a decent result for them. Over here they are fighting to the death, but they're going to lose, so... Uh, because of the random nature of how things are calculated in this game... Uh, things go can go either way if units are evenly matched. Obviously a unit needs to win. So the Godens here, let's see if we can find the remaining uh, Godens man in this blob. Yeah, here we, here we have him. He's fighting to the death, he doesn't care. But... Um, it's a bit of a toss-up, really, between Godens Chosen and between the Butchelori Guard Axemen. Not a toss-up between Godens Men and the Scooter Toy Axis. So, whether you want to send your Godens Chosen into Butchelori Guard is a bit circumstantial. They would ideally need some sort of support. Uh, you would have that in the form of Slingers or Germanic Archers. However, Godens Men are much more vulnerable to missiles than the Butchelori Guard. They have they have a lower health, they have worse shields, lower armor. So it might be easier for the the uh, Roman expedition player to tip the balance in his favor by, by damaging the Godensmen be before they they hit the Butchelori Guard. But still the Godensmen, some of the strongest, if they go berserk, some of the strongest sword units in the game currently. Strength and honor.